Hey guys, welcome to your twin flame reading for Leo. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your twin flame journey is going. Okay, so apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So, what messages do we have here for Leo? Tell me about Leo and their twin flame journey. We're gonna take, first going to take a look at the dominating energies regarding this reading here, okay? And then we'll get into the tarot. So tell me about Leo. Leo and their twin flame journey. Leo and their twin flame journey. So Leo, we have inner turmoil. Some of you could be born in 1963 or some of you could be 63 years old. Doubting and questioning decisions. Fight between their mind and their heart. Feeling worried, conflicted, agitated, and unhappy with life choices. We also have watching. Some of you could be born in 1974. Creates fake accounts to stay up to date. Pretends not to care, but becomes obsessive. Late night scrolling on social media platforms. We have breaking barriers. Okay, some of you could also be 41 years old. Realizing the truth with the understanding, you must push forward with the connection. Removing obstacles that results in cultural differences, family situations, or sexual orientation. So I feel like this is you. Like, I feel like you do, this is you trying to break through barriers here. This is you trying to overcome any sort of obstacles uh, where, you know, where something, uh, wh whatever it is, is blocking this relationship from moving forward here. We also have charismatic Car Casanova. This person could also be 30 years old. You know, there's de definitely uh, more than one age range here to supply this to your own unique situation. Fear of commitment of being, uh, uh, and, and of being hurt, emotional, avoidant, detachment style, fond of many lovers and has many love affairs, okay. So perhaps that's one of the reasons why that this person is conflicted. You know, this person could be dealing with other lovers here, but they're also watching you at the same time. You know, this person is not really putting in a whole lot, a lot of effort to make this connection work, but with breaking barriers, that's what you want to do here, Leo. What else do we have for, for Leo? Let's talk about Leo in their soulmate journey. What is going on with Leo in their soulmate journey here? For December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo, for Leo here. For a Leo, for a Leo. So Leo, we have to choose swords here and a devil. Yeah, this is an individual here that has perhaps options that's indecisive here, very confused. You're actually dealing with someone here. Your twin flame is someone here that you're dealing with that's really, really toxic. The environment, the energies surrounding this connection is very toxic. We have the devil Capricorn energy here. We also have the Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And also we have the Page of Cups here. You know, I feel like you have been very caring and very nurturing towards this person here. I feel like you're also very conscious of this person's traumas here too, okay? But you know, I just feel like this person hasn't really, really, really reciprocated that energy back towards you here, Leah. We have the Page of Cups. Queen of Cups, both Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have the Seven of Wands here, and also we have the Moon card. Leo, I feel like this is you. I feel like you guys want to fight for this here. Some of you guys could be in the middle of going through the dark night of soul. Like, I feel like you, your ego, wants to fight for it, but your intuition is telling you that no, the situation's not actually good and healthy here for you. The Moon card, Cancer, Pisces here, the Two of Swords, and also the Ten of Cups. Tell me the Devil here, why is the Devil here? And also with the Two of Cups here. This is an incredibly toxic relationship here. This is also an addictive relationship. I feel like you're trying to break some sort of addiction with this individual here. You know, because I feel like what, um, this is kind of like Knight of Wands energy here. Okay, you know, uh, the uh, charismatic Casanova here, you know, this person's very in and out. You know, I feel like when this person's in, this person shows you that they're really great, they're amazing, but then when they're not great, 
you're trying to recreate that again. So that's where the addiction is. The uh, Queen of Cups here and the Six of Wands. Tell me the uh, Page of Cups. I feel like this person knows exactly what to say in order for them to make you feel really good here. But it just doesn't hold up. It doesn't last here. Okay, you know, I do feel like this person tells you that they're you're really attractive and that they love you here, but I just feel like the behavior doesn't really match their words here. You know, the, the behavior and the words don't match. There's just a lack of consistency there. The seven of wands here, and also the king of wands, Aries, little Sagittarius, energy in the moon, and the four of swords here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is very disengaged here. This person does fear commitment, and I just feel like when you do have communication surrounding. Uh, uh, commitment here, this person becomes really aloof. What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on outcome and advice here for Leo for December 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. So we have the Magician here and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy, and the Magician, Gemini Virgo. We also have the Justice card and the Sun card, <coughs> Leo Energy. Okay. Leo energy here, and also Justice Libra energy. What else do we have? And a just uh, and the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune here. All major arcanas, by the way. What is the outcome and advice? Your soul contract with this twin flame has ended here. Like, like I feel like you know you have gotten everything that you could have gotten out of the situation here and learned from it, or that you will learn from it. And same goes for this person here. Like I just feel like you guys are meant to like separate right now, okay? And perhaps in, in a in the future or in a future lifetime, you guys will come back together again. But you know, I also feel like you know when it comes to these twin flame readings. People get really attached to labels and people have a tendency because they're so attached to the labels, they excuse their partner's behavior because they're like, oh, my partner's a twin flame, so it's okay. You know, so this is like people really normalizing, you know, bad behavior here because of the labels. Okay, so I feel like this is something that you have to break free of. You know, the more that you uh, keep yourself in this, the more karma that you are creating for yourself here, Leo. It doesn't matter what this person says, you know, it's just a matter of what this person does. Yeah, and I feel like this person doesn't really treat you well here, to be quite honest. Like I said, this person could be very sweet, this person could be very kind, but there's a lack of consistency with that. Yeah, with the Five of Swords here and the Justice card, there's a lot of emotional mind games here. And I feel like, you know, the more that you stay in this situation, I just feel like it's just gonna continue here. And it's difficult, you know, it's hard, but it's best to move away from the situation here. And I feel like you just know that you must do that at some point. You must cut this person out, okay? Uh, because I do feel like this is a situation here that's incredibly toxic. It's starting to affect your emotional and mental health here with the Ace of Wands here and the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. At some point in the future here, you guys will come back together again. It might not be in this lifetime, but it could be in another lifetime. Yeah, like I just feel like someone here is not really ready to do the work. Like I said, breaking barriers, I feel like that's you. You want to do the work here to fix things. But this other person, this charismatic Casanova, and you have watching an inner turmoil, this person's not really ready to do that. And I feel like you're realizing that you're settling for less than what you deserve here. And I feel like with Taurus here, like I just feel like you're in this energy of wanting to reclaim your power here. Karmic partners, yeah. So. This is looking more and more like a karmic here. Yeah, it's just like the energy surrounding the situation is very turbulent. There's a lot of highs and lows here. Uh, there's codependency. The, the communication is not so great here. Okay, I just feel like you're really being tested here. Okay, uh, and I feel like the universe is showing you what you need to do. You just need to execute here. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.